how do I add an email profile picture when I'm using Ionis email? We come in, we set up our email, and then you've already attached your Gmail. But if you try to send an email to yourself, look what happens. It looks like this with a big question mark. Well, this is because Google cannot identify who this person is sending the email. So in this video, I'm gonna show you a couple of cool things that you can do to really enhance your email. The first thing I wanna show you is this. I'm gonna go back here and let's look at this. A lot of people will ask me, how do I add an emoji and how do I put my name in here to look really pretty? So let's go into Ionis and when you're in Ionis email, what you're gonna do is you'll go to settings. And when you click on the settings here, you're going to see your email account. Let's go ahead and hit edit and you'll see the account name. That's usually in case you have other emails or another account. But you see, I just put in Kathy 3S system as my account name. And under your name, you'll see I just added this. Well, how did I get the graph? Well, I just went to the awesome emojipedia.org and you can put in anything you'd like. And I usually recommend doing something that's related to your business. So for example, with our WebExly, we use this bullseye right here. And so you can see when we send out our emails, they actually have a bullseye inside of WebExly. And then you'll just hit save and you're good to go. All right. So that's one. Now, number two, we want to get rid of this question mark right here. Why is it always showing a question mark? It almost is a little bit scary and really unprofessional. There's really just one way to do this because it's all related to Gmail. And Gmail, Google, wants to make sure that you're a legit user. I'm going to open up a new Google tab where it shows Google. So I'm inside of Google, Google and you can see right here, this is what you're logged in as. So what we need to do is create a Google business profile. We're going to use my Kathy at 3ss.io email. So when you come over to this little Google account icon, go ahead and click it. What we're going to do is we're going to say add another account. When I click on add another account right down here, you're going to look for the button that says create an account. Now, when you go to add a new account, it's going to say, do you want to create it for myself, my child, or to manage my business? One thing you want to note about this is you may just want to do for myself. Now, if you do not have a Google business account and the Google business is the Google business profile that's searched when you're searching for Google businesses, then you may want to go ahead and do to manage my business. You can create it to manage my business and it will actually walk you through how to create a Google by my business account, which is now called Google Business Profile, and you'll be able to fill that out and set up your business. If you already have that, then go ahead and select for myself. And it's going to take you to a Google account. This is exactly what you did when you originally set up your Google free Gmail account. But what we want to do is use our business email. So what I'm going to do is see where it says right here, it'll say first name, last name, your username for the Gmail. We want to use our current email address instead. So we're going to click current email address instead. And I'm going to put in the Kathy at... 3ss.io. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to create a password and then we're going to make sure our passwords match and then we'll go ahead and hit next. And here we go. So it's going to send a code to my Ionis email. So I'm going to go in here. Let's go ahead and hit cancel. Let's go to my inbox and pretty soon there should be my Google verification email with my code. So all I'm going to do is right click copy and when I come into my create account, I'm going to go ahead and put this in here and hit next. And it's going to want an, a phone number. So let's go ahead and put in a phone number that'll want your birthday, right? Because it wants to make sure you're legit. This is typical. And I'll put next. And then it says verify your phone. We're going to go ahead and hit send. It's going to send a number to my phone with a G dash code. So uh, let's look at this phone. Then we'll go ahead and hit verify. We're good. Yes, I'm in. We agree to the privacy. And now we are in. What happens next? So what we'll do is you'll see continue on Chrome. I'm going to ignore that. That just changes out my Chrome profile. And really, you can create your own Google business right there. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and close that out. And I'm just going to come over here to the C. So right here, when you click on, you're going to see the C circle and you're going to see this image right here. So let's go ahead and click on the image and let's go ahead and add an awesome profile picture. Let's find a fun image of Kathy. 
I'm just pulling this right off of my desktop. There's my image. We're going to save that as my profile picture. So now Google has identified me. Now you'll see right here, you've got my Kathy Thomas, my email, and I can click here to actually manage my account. And you can see this is my Google account. Now all this is, is a Google profile. That's all we're doing. So I can eventually add other things to my profile if I want to, like Google Pay, add on other subscriptions, things like that. Now that we've got it all set up, we still have a question mark. And you're going to want to fix this because when you click on this, your picture will eventually show up, but it's still going to show a question mark. If you're on your desktop and you click on that question mark, it's going to take you to a bunch of information that basically is wanting you to alter authenticate with Google that you are a legit business. Now, the best way to do this if you're not using a G Suite and you're using Ionis is to click on this button right here that says learn more about how authentication works. So you want to add an SPF and a DKM record to your Ionis domain. So what we're going to do, let's click on this SPF, which you can see right here specifies which host is allowed to send messages. So we want to get an SPF record. You can read all this, watch the video, but the bottom line is it's going to be this right here that you want to copy and put this into your Ionis account. So let's go ahead and go into my Ionis account. And when you go into your domains and you say add a record, what's going to happen is these are going to pop up. Right here, you're going to see the SPF text, and this is freely adding it. So when you click on this, you're going to just copy and paste that code, that SPF record right here. You want to make sure you do an at so it just covers all of your domain. And then you're going to hit save. And when you hit save, you'll see I've already added this. So it's going to say it's going to disable. So I'm going to hit cancel. But once you add it, it will actually show up as a record. So this is going to be your SPF record. Now, the next one we want to do is going to be your... DKIM. So this basically tells Google that you're legit. I'm going to show you a really cool tool that we use and it's called easydmark.com. All you got to do is click on the link and I'll be sure to put this in the link below and you want to go to the DKIM generator. So what you'll do is you'll put in your domain You'll put in your sector. Now, this could be also Google or whatever you want to name it. And then I usually do the key length at 2048. And then when you click generate, what's going to happen is it's going to generate for your domain a DKIM record. Right here, you're going to copy this and you're going to be copying the record value. So when I go into my domain settings, let's go ahead and go back to adding a DNS. You'll see right here when you say add a DNS record, you want to go to the text add a record right here. And let's go ahead and go back to my domains because I've already added this record. So let's go ahead and go to my DNS serving settings. And you'll see right here I've added a text record with the Ionis underscore domain key in the DKIM record. So all you're going to do is add a record. You're going to go to the text right here. When you click on the text, you've got the host and the value. Let's go back to our awesome DKIM generator. And you'll see right here, I'm going to literally copy this. That piece will go into the domain host like this. And then the record Let's come over here. You can just easily copy that. And when you go back to your domain, you're going to put that record right here. And once you hit save, you're going to see the preview record is here. Once you hit save, it's going to look like this. And you'll see a text record, that domain, and that key, and you're all set. Once you've set up those two, SPF record and the DKIM record, then what's going to happen is when you send that email again, look what happens. Now I'm going to go ahead and go back to my inbox and you're going to see right here the test again and look what happens. I am now authenticated. My image that I created on my Google account attaching this email is now showing up. This is telling Google that we are legit.
So all you got to do is go into your email. Let's go ahead and compose a new email again for fun. And like I said, it usually takes about an hour for your image to work. We're going to go ahead and hit send. Let's go back to my awesome email and let's see what happens right here. Voila, it pops up and here I am again. I'm authenticated. All this good stuff is in here. I am a valid person and now my image is showing up. And that's it for setting up Iona's email and making it look really pretty and beautiful. So hopefully you've learned how to add an email profile picture and then set up your SPF and DKIM records. So that way you're following all of the Google guidelines. Thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next video.